Kate Ingham. There you go. So I've unmuted you. If you unmute yourself, Kate, you'll be able to speak whenever you're ready, hon. Okay. Can you hear me? There you go. Hello, hello. How are you, Kate? Good evening. Very well, thank you. Uh, for those of you that know, don't know Kate, a little quick introduction. Uh, Kate is the head coach here at the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. Uh, also has been selling on Amazon for three years now, I think, Kate, something like that. And uh, selling in Australia and in the USA, doing extremely well. I think last year you did, in December, you did $60,000 in sales for the month of December. Is that correct? Yeah, then we got up there. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, and so I asked Kate on, because Kate, we were doing our weekly chat, what we have with all the diamond coaches, where we talk about diamond clients, businesses and stuff like that. And Kate brought some really, really good, interesting stuff to the table. And so I thought it'd be good for, for her to share that with you as well. And so I've kind of brought this up for you, Kate, all about packaging. And I've also got something up about the batteries as well. If there's anything else you want me to bring up, let me know, hon. But I'm going to hand it over to you. Well, I just wanted to acknowledge the Seller Central setup team because this has come out of the girls are working with a lot of AOE um, people at the moment. So they've got a particular view of what's going on and they're seeing where Amazon's causing trouble and causing suspensions and, um, and working out ways of getting around it. So just some of the things that we've been observing have been occurring because one of the things that in terms of packaging that, um, you know, we've been taught is about creating a here, you know, value adding your product by adding a hero box, um, which gets gives you more real estate to communicate information about the product. Now, so, you know, a lot of a lot of AOE people and a lot of my clients have created these hero boxes uh, just recently, in, literally in the last two months, Amazon's mm. been blocking them and um, we've been, f and, you know, they don't tell you why, um, they just block it and, um, and then you've got to work it out. Uh, and then basically it's, um, you have to remove the box, which has branding and information about the product uh, from the hero image. So this vitamin C serum um, would be, uh, you know, if if the system worked consistently, it would be removed and you could only have the product. Um, and we've found that with a number of people, they've had to remove the box. Of course, we move it to the second image, so it's still part of the architecture of, your, you know, all your images. Uh, but we have we're finding that we've got to remove a number of boxes that are in the hero image. And Amazon's saying they don't want the branding, they don't want the yeah. extra information, uh, which of course we've loaded in there um, because that's what we're trying to communicate and differentiate ourselves. So that's one um, that has been occurring and um, it's also, um, I suppose, going back to doing that initial dummy, dummy listing that uh, that you do when you're looking at generating your FNSQ and your shipping plan and that sort of information. I suppose what I've been getting my clients to do more is spend a bit more time on getting their title correct or opt optimize so that it's not going to dr be dramatically changed because Amazon doesn't like dramatic changes. And at this particular time of year, you know, when everybody's careering towards Christmas, you don't want to be suspended for a few days. Um, so if you are doing a dummy listing, um, my recommendation is, you know, try and go with as optimized title as you can, uh, just because major changes um, will be blocked and you'll find that you'll have difficulty changing the title. Um, one one of the girls was saying that well, the way they got around it was by changing one word um, every hour um, so that, you know, that got rid of the, the problem. Um, but yeah, many people find that they put up a dummy listing and they can't go back and change it. You may have to do a ticket to, you know, advise that you want to change the title. <laughs> so that's one 
that um, and you know put a good image because if you're a new seller, um, put a good image of the product because Amazon is reviewing you as a new seller. Mm. Um, so you know go in with a, a, a you know it may be an image from a manufacturer, but go in with as good a quality image as you can, one where the background's been removed as close to terms of service as possible because what you could find is whilst you're getting your your images generated by, you know, photographers and what have you, you put up a, a bad image, um, you may find that um, you're going to have difficulty um, from Amazon because of it, mm -hmm. particularly at this time of year when Amazon's pretty glitchy. And trigger happy to suspend people. Oh yeah. So, um, <clears throat> another one is um, a number of accounts have been deactivated due to inactivity. So if you've set up, you know, you've gone into, <laughs> you've gone into module <laughs> one and set up with all the enthusiasm, and then spent quite some time getting your products together, and a whole lot of um, time has passed. You may find that you think that you've got an activated uh, account and you find that it's been deactivated. So we've had a number of these happen in the past week. Um, and to solve that, you have to select reactivate and resubmit the charge me method, then wait up to 48 hours. Um, the account information will show that the account is active and listing status is active, but it it also can be deceptive. So the only way to know whether account has been reactivated is to do one of the following. And it's, um, if there's an existing listing, try to edit it. And if there's no listing, try creating one. And then you, then you can know for certain. Okay. So, and um, the last thing that um, you wanted me to mention was the batteries. Mm -hmm. Now, Identifying dangerous goods, you know, dangerous goods include common house items such as aerosols, hairspray, nail polish, batteries and electronic devices. And it's your responsibility as a seller to know whether the products are dangerous goods or not and to ensure their proper handling and safe transport. Now into that is your lithium, lithium batteries. Um, now there's a test summary now required for lithium batteries and it's according to a UN standard. The UN standard is known as the UN 38.3 and you'll need a test summary um, if your product has a lithium battery. So, and also there's um, Australian regula regulations that cover this. Um, and what I'll do is I'll pop into the chat the product safety information that people can to do with electronic buttons, button batteries in particular, which a lot mm -hmm. of products have button batteries, so you'll get them easily from China. Um, but there's quite specific uh, requirements in Australia for button batteries, largely because, you know, a lot of babies have been, um, you know, seriously hurt by swallowing the button batteries. So, um, it's really important that you um, have a product that's compliant around that. I think that's everything that I was going to mention. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kate. I will mention for Kate that um, if you've got anything that you need setting up as far as your Seller Central account, and you just want to get it done and get it done fast and get it done properly, then definitely check out Seller Central Setup .com.au, sellercentralsetup.com.au. They've done heaps and heaps of um, Aussie online entrepreneurs, members, businesses, doing the setup for them, helping them out. If they've got stuck, they've done a really, really great job of that. Uh, Kate's involved with that particular business. And if you haven't already watched it and you want to get more of Kate uh, and her awareness and knowledge around Amazon, then I really, really recommend you checking out uh, in module number uh, one, the, the cool stuff area, ducks in a row, check that out, and also seller central setup. So Kate's in, in doing both of these, really, really important, and that will give you a real 
foundation in setting up your business properly. I mean, it's pretty, very, very clear that Kate knows what she's talking about. So um, yeah, go check those out too. Kate, massive thank you. Let me just quickly see if there's any uh, questions for you. Uh, many clients in grammar deactivated due to some explaining this one. Uh, man from Amazon Market, yikes. Uh, had issues with magnets freaking everybody out. Yeah, magnets is another one. Uh, will they help with setting up in Amazon US? So Kate, do you do Amazon US as well? Yeah, yeah. The, t the team are in and out. So th that's oh, that was the other thing, the global selling fees. You know, there's a difference between get it, paying the fees for each individual market versus um, going in and setting up global under the go global selling. Um, and I recommend doing the global selling, except it's it's there have been people that have completely messed it up and locked themselves out and got into a complete tangle. Um, yeah. So the girls, you know, Rosie and Megan are in and out of this all the time. Um, so if you do want to set up just for that first time to get it right, um, just go and get the help. Uh, you know, they can assist you with that. And you get a recording, which also helps. So, you know, setting up your PPC or your Google AdWords or reviewing your your reports, um, they're incredibly helpful and you get the recording. So you can go back and review it. Yeah, so you get it done for you and you learn how to do it as well. That's right, that's right. Uh, Kate, huge thank you. Hey, Neil here. Just before you go away, that was a question that I got asked on my regular Monday night Q&A session, which I have with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. So if you're interested in joining us as an Aussie Online Entrepreneur, then you can click on the link below to find out a lot more about that. And, uh, and also, as a special thank you for watching this video, I've got a uh, great book that I want to give you uh, for free. It's a current bestseller on Amazon and it teaches you everything that you would need to know about starting a business uh, here in Australia on Amazon. So uh, you can see that just up there. So if you'd like to get a copy of that for free, then again, just click on the link below and uh, you'll get a copy of that. You'll get to take into a page um, where you can get a copy of that for absolutely free. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet from one of my Aussie Online Entrepreneur Q&A sessions and uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like this video. And if you've got a question that you would like answering, then post it in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to answer it, whether on one of these videos for you or directly in the comments directly below. All right, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time on the next of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs Amazon FBA Australia videos. See you soon.